Well, now to more breaking news. A stunning reversal by Wayne County Prosecutor Kim Worthy. She had charged a 10 year old boy with aggravated assault after he hit a fellow student in the head during a play, a play game of dodgeball. Well, now after public pressure, the charges have been dropped, but this may not be over. We were first to push this story on your phone. We want to go live now to 7 Action News reporter Jim Kurtzner, who's live in Southfield, where the mother and her attorney just discussed the case. Jim. Yeah, Alicia, the mom and the attorney say it was because of media attention here in Metro Detroit. We were the first station to report this, and it turned into national pressure on Kim Worthy's office, a Wayne County prosecutor, and they're calling for that pressure to continue. But let me tell you the background on this case. It was back in April at an elementary school over in Canton where the kids were out on a recess on the playground playing a modified version of dodgeball. 10-year-old Bryce threw a ball and hit another 10-year-old friend of his who he's known for a year and a half in the head. That second child did end up with a concussion. It turns out he had underlying health issues. Now, the mom found out just last week that her 10-year-old son was charged. She was devastated. He was set to be in court tomorrow. Um, I just couldn't believe that any person would think that that is okay to criminalize a child. We live in a predominantly white area. Take a look at this baby that was supposed to appear tomorrow for a criminal proceeding, a pretrial conference on an aggravated assault charge. This is an essentially a straight A student who had never done anything wrong and was charged with a criminal offense. Now, the stunning reversal on this case came out in this statement we got earlier this morning from the office of Kim Worthy. She is saying in this statement that I will never try our cases in the court of public opinion or outcry. Petition drives, protests, and other public so-called pressure certainly have a place in our democracy, but they should never impact what is done in a case and influence their decisions. But this attorney and this mom want people to continue to call that office because they say how many other kids may end up in the same boat with what they call a miscarriage of justice. They also are exploring their legal options and this mom says she's going to enroll her son Bryce in a different school for this fall. Reporting live in Southfield, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. Yeah, high emotions for everybody involved in that case. Thank you for the update, Jim.